A scientist from Imperial College just after rush hour, swabbing contact points all over the capital's transport network. The tests that they use are really super sensitive, uh, so if there's anything there, then we'll find it. This device filters 300 litres of tube air every minute. We want to find out if that cleaning is working, how well it's working, and if there's any possibility that we could improve that, we want to find out so that we can do that. We filmed them two weeks ago as they try to find out how much coronavirus is present on the transport system. Today, for the second month in a row, all of these tests came back negative. Do the results show that you won't catch COVID on the tube? Or obviously the issue is other people, isn't it? We need to make sure that the, the, the underground, that buses, that they can do the best possible job in welcoming customers in a safe way. So allowing people to, to sit as far apart as possible and to be clean. And that's what our sampling is showing. It is clean. There is um, space to socially distance. We are enforcing masks. The tube and buses, are they safe to use? I believe uh, tubes and buses are absolutely safe to use in London. We've put in place an enormous range of measures from cleaning to sanitizers to using antiviral sprays and our testing shows that it is clean so I think it is safe. From Thursday Londoners are being told to reduce journeys and avoid travelling in and out of their local area. But for those who have to travel, TfL wants to show its system is as safe as it can be. Tom Edwards, BBC London.